Hello everybody, welcome to Sham Story Time. Today I am going to tell you the next story in King Vikramaditya series. In the last episode, we saw how Vikramaditya answered the riddle correctly, but then the Vethal flew back to the tree. Vikramaditya was very perseverant. He walked back to the tree, pulled up the cords, hung it on his shoulders, and walked towards the crematorium. As he was walking, the Vethal told him another story. Today's episode is called Why Did the Boy Laugh? Are you ready to listen? The story goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a king and a queen who went into the jungle for a hunt. They went on a hunt for a number of days and they were returning. Every night when they are tired, they would sleep under a tree and then ride on the horseback the next day. Like that, they were coming towards the city. One night, the king and queen were resting under a tree. But this tree was possessed by a Brahma Rakshasa. The Rakshasa appeared and was about to kill both of them and gobble them up. But the queen pleaded with the Rakshasa saying, Please don't eat us up. You can ask for anything. We will do whatever you ask. The Brahma Rakshasa said, Okay, let's make a deal. Do you see that there is a goddess at the root of this tree? You have to make a sacrifice to this goddess. The queen said, definitely we will do. What do you want as a sacrifice? Is it a goat or anything else? She asked. No, no, said the Brahma Rakshasa. I want you to sacrifice a boy, a very young boy. The boy should know that he is going to be sacrificed. He should accept to it. Not only that, even the parents should give the consent. The boy's mother should hold the feet of the boy. And the father should hold his hands. And the king himself should cut the head of the boy and sacrifice to this goddess who sits under this tree. If you do that, I will leave both of you. But this must be done immediately within seven days time. But if you don't do that, I can find you wherever you hide. I will find you and gobble both of you up, said the Brahma Rakshasa. The king and queen did not have an option. They agreed to it. They escaped from the Brahma Rakshasa came back to their city. Immediately, the king called the prime minister. He was a very old and wise man. He called him and said, what happened in the forest? The prime minister said, we have to find a boy like that. The boy should agree, the parents should agree for the sacrifice. Let us see. So a word was sent to all the corners of the city. Everybody was announced that the king is going to give a big reward to this family, which is ready to offer their young boy. As a sacrifice, the child should also agree. They found such a family. One boy agreed to it. His parents were very poor. They didn't have an option. They had so many other children to take care of also. So they agreed to it. Maybe we give a sacrifice our youngest child with the reward that the king gives. We can take care of our other children. So the mother, father and the boy walked to the palace. So the king accepted all of them were taken to that tree, exactly the same tree in the forest where there was a goddess at the root of the tree. The boy was made ready. The boy accepted. He agreed that he is going to be sacrificed. The mother and the father held his hands and feet. The king was ready to chop off the boy's head. He picked up the sword. When he was about to chop it off, the boy laughed. He gave a big laugh. All the people that were surrounding saluted the boy. The Vethal stopped here. The question he asked Vikramaditya was, why did the boy laugh? And he also reminded the king. The Vethal said, if you utter a word, I will fly back to the tree. But if you know the answer to this riddle and still keep quiet, your head will burst into a million pieces. King Vikramaditya, as always, smiled a bit and gave the answer. The boy laughed. Simply because of this reason. Usually, when any boy has a problem, he would approach the parents. If the parents are unable to solve it, they would approach the king. If even the king is unable to solve it, they would approach the god. In this case, the boy's parents were helping with the sacrifice. And the king was sacrificing the boy for the sake of the god. Thinking about this, the little boy laughed. Said Vikramaditya. Immediately, the Vethal clapped his hand and said, Well uttered, king, but you have opened your mouth to speak. I'm going to go back, he said. The Vethal disengaged itself from Vikramaditya and flew back to the drumstick tree. 
Vikramaditya once again walked to the tree and he picked up the Vetal. He told him another story, but that's for the next episode. Stay tuned, okay? Did you like today's story? If you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sham Story Time. You will have access to all the stories that I upload. Every Saturday, there is a story about King Vikramaditya in English. And on Sundays, you have a Panchatantra story in Tamil. Watch, listen and enjoy all the stories. My name is Shamala and I am a passionate storyteller. I will meet you in the next story. Bye-bye.